So the car's misfiring like a butthole right now. Well, let me try to park and I'll show you guys. I don't know what's going on. Of course, it doesn't do it now. It's like when you bring your phone into like the Apple store or like uh, the Samsung store and you know I got this f***ing issue with my phone doesn't work and you bring it in the second you walk through that doorway your phone acts normal as sh**. Oh, but other than that, my f***ing oil pressure is literally pitted to 120. Jack's gonna take a look with a Cyrus. Um, he's gonna hook straight to the ECU, hack into the Matrix, do all that good stuff. Let's get a sound click from the outside. Whoa, don't do that, Satan. What? Back up and pop the hood. Okay. Two hundred thousand miles. The old Black View is about to get that Jack treatment for the first time in a long while. We're doing it all. We're gonna pull the pull Jack service. out. We're gonna redo the tune. We're gonna take it out and romp it a little bit. Still on the eighty-five. We're gonna do alchemy. 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 We're gonna turn to gold. This will no longer be a POS, but but a what? A PO. A SOP. An SOP, which is seriously on point. Seriously on point. I like that. You guys are gonna start using that. Go ahead and start using that. We're bringing it back. We're bringing it out. Jack Cecil is gonna do work as Jack Magic. He's already installed a huge single turbo on the on the front of my car. Dual inlet, centrifugal uh, blower. Here's a new coil pack. I got Blade Duralast. Built to last. It's built to last. You can Dura tell it's last. good because it has the word last in it. Jeez, that thing, that's deep. So these are the OEM original assembly line coil packs from 214,000 miles. This car has been daily beaten for the past, I don't know. I've had the car since 2007, so I think it was kind of due for an upgrade. Papa Jack knew what he was doing when he was tuning the car, so if you really wanted your 350 to last, your G37, your G35 to last, bring it to the master magician. Not just good performance gains, but also reliability. And I am living witness to the fact that this shit has tested the, the sands of time. Papa Jack knows. The sands of time are the days of our lives. How's it looking? How's Original it? Bosch Iridium sh Crusty. Ooh, welcome to the Krusty Krab. Can I take your order? Now Jack just has to hack into the Matrix and work as Jack magic and defeat the Sentinels that'll try to destroy my car. Coil packs are in, the spark plugs are in, the car's running like a champ. Um, for the first time in a couple years though, Jackson worked the magic and hack into the matrix. Yo, I need to hack into my freaking computer. Well, first he has to hack into his what computer. What kind of bullshit lights are those? I can't see sh You like that? It's BMW oh, inspired. It's junk. How, How do I turn my brightness down on this turret? It's you gotta not press working. FN and then... I did. Oh, well, awkward. I mean, there's a, there's a button for it. It's just not working. So while Jack tries to figure out the Matrix, I'm gonna right. step on this clutch pedal and put my my gear into first, and hopefully he'll be able to figure this out. Look, it's not. Look at this. We're gonna do some magical Dude, street tuning. Look at how crazy this is. I just put display brightness. Uh huh. Yeah, that's max low. Yeah, and then I just turn it all. It doesn't move. It's not changing. What in tarnation? I dare say, I say. <laughs> all right. Every name beginning with the letter A as much as you can until the computer reboots. Go. Angel, Aaron, what? Angela, Alex, Alejandro, Axel, Andrew, Anton. You got seven, Jack. It's not bad. And that looks like Carlos, I think. Pretty sure it's Carlos. Looks. It's the only JDM. Yeah. Just keep saying no. 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 Huh? No. No. Shake your head no. Like yes. no. 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 Say that again? No. Alright, I got a shipment coming in. You got, what? He's got a shipment coming in. A shipment? We'll take Carlos's car to go visit Joey and then you can tune my car while we're on the way there. What? Yeah, we'll take, we'll, we'll hop in Carlos's car and then we'll, you, you can tune my car while we're on the way to, to, to go visit Joey. How does that sound? Impractical. I got it. So Jack's plugged into Osiris. He's hacked into the Matrix. He's going to figure out some parameters and cross, was it cross the T's and dot the I's? He's going to absolutely. Oh, yeah, he's doing a smoker. He didn't do it. That was weak. Well, right, here's what you do. Put it in neutral, take TCS off, floor it to neutral, then drop it in D. 
Do the neutral bomb. Yeah, I'll leave the transmission. It's, it's a tram it's a general motors car, it'll 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 last. As you can see here, the weather forecast for my ECU looks very gay. I didn't set it in the ukulele. What kind of driver? You gotta do some stuff. Alright. So we're gonna go visit Joey again, play another game of hide and seek, except I can't really play hide and seek because I'm in the Z and I'm not in a random vehicle. Uh, via random rental vehicle, so Jack will do his express tuning all around the way and I'm probably gonna get a speeding ticket sometime during nah, the time of this video. You think so? Because I think he's gonna require me to really send it. To punch it? He's gonna require me to punch it like Rocky Balboa in that movie Fast and the Furious. That's, that's the one. Yeah. Go punch it. Crossing the T's and dotting the I's. Hey, if anybody knows that girl that works at Howley's, she's Call Jack. Native American and Japanese. Call Jack about it. And I'm in love. I just triangulated the hypotenuse on top of your regurgitator. Is that how it works? Yeah. Punch it. Sick. It's a sick punch it. Yo, check me out. You guys like that sweet freaking. It's good oil pressure. Oil pressure? Bad. Let's see what it's at at idle. Let's see if you guys can beat that world record. How much PSI are you running? Oil pressure, yeah. How much? I bet you guys are running more oil boost than you guys. How much oil boost are you running? At least 120. No, wrong what? answer. Right answer, all of it. Don't, don't do anything rash. No, I don't have a rash. And don't call me Shirley. Jack's hacking into the Matrix right now with the Rob Rev. Now turn the key on. He is Mr. Anderson. Just turn the key on. To key on! Proceeding to our route. Bing bong. Oh, bing bong. Bing bong. That was a pretty good uh, English. <laughs> I do say. Oh, oh puppy cock. Oh, puppy cock. Oh, bing bong. Good morning, puppet. Puppet. Guys, this is gonna be a weird vlog. All right, guys. So Jack's home. Um, the tune's all said and done, and this thing runs like a top. Just... It's it. I haven't, this car hasn't pulled, the, like, you know, this great since probably six years ago or something. So tomorrow will be Dino Day. Uh, me and Evo, not me and Evo, me and Joey are going to go ahead and dyno the cars. And usually when he dynos his car, I dyno mine because it's just convenient since we have the cars off the dyno. Last time I raked in 234, 234 horses in the last run with Jack, and that was right after we installed the, uh, the Motordon Plenum Spacer for the car. So now that I have fresh coil packs, fresh plugs, and a fresh tune for like the first time in probably a couple years, pretty excited to see what, you know, is about to happen. Hopefully I gain power, because right now my peak, my peak power putting down on Jack's Dino I think was about 245, and that was back in like 2010 I think, which was like probably the first time I got the cartoon, possibly. So after dining the car a long time ago, probably like two or three months ago along with this guy, uh, the car put down about 234 horsepower, which is understandable, but I think I could have done a little bit better because the first time I ever dynoed the car, the car put down about 245, and that is the infamous heartbreaker Jack HP Logic Dyno. So with all the fresh new little spark tidbits and engine tidbits on top, perhaps we can squeeze a little bit more power, so let's see what happens. So the Z's on the dyno, and we're gonna play the dyno game again. Hey, for the imaginary suitcase of a million dollars. 236. 236? 236. Imaginary suitcase of a million dollars, Jack. Yep, right. I'll take it. Alright, he takes it without even guessing. I'm gonna say 245. Yeah, that's way too much. No. 
242. Way too much. There's a Q. I made 236 Q, there's last a Q60 time. Q60S just went on here and made fucking 214. Well, learn something new every day. Hey, they uh, like me throw around about putting a throttle body spacer on my Evo and actually makes power. Well, that was the magic of the dyno. See you guys in the next video. Woo! How much power does your car make in six gear? Because my first gear is reversed. But yeah, yeah, but see, I have a six gear, so that's yeah, like... but I have a fifth forward gear. Right, but I have a six my forward sixth gear. My gear is fifth. See, like, right now, both of our cars have one. zero horsepower, so reverse, but I have more gears one, than you two, do. Three, so four, technically... Okay, so how, the, how much power do you have in seventh gear? That's it. I don't have seven guys. I don't have, I don't have seventh gear either. You have six no, forward no, gears and one No, I don't, gear, I don't have a seventh seven. gear. So the six plus I one have, is seven. I don't have a seventh gear. Yeah, you do. So you have a six forward so gear. So we've proven again, yeah, the Z33 so is a better right. platform than the Lancer Mitsubishi because, see, right now he's got zero horsepower. Right now, the Z's got zero horsepower. How's it feel you have more gears that I have? And less power. How's it feel to make only that much power with the turbo?